All right, what's up guys, x Chronic back at it again once again with yet another amazing video. And today, we're probably going to have a mirror match, but apart from that, we're going to be going ahead and using Yubel's Recurring Nightmare. This is a deck that I kind of made myself. Literally had no outer influence on making this one. And honestly, I hope people start using it, because it's a really good, annoying deck. It's a stall deck, just going to put that out there. This is a pure on stall deck that just makes your opponent not want to fight you. I don't know if the volume's too loud or not, um, okay. So, I took off the character voices because I really just don't want character voices on right now. I mean, I want to more explain the deck. So, the entire deck, let's just say, you don't have a lot of monsters, but you got a lot of cards. I got more cards than my opponent, technically, with one card in the deck. Um, I'll get to that later whenever I end up drawing it, but, um, I might not be able to go into more than maybe one or two matches. Mainly because the deck itself, it's not your average stall deck where you like HP stall and deck out your opponent or you burn them every turn. This is a true on, I'm just going to make it to where you cannot fight me. It's like, you, you can fight me if you want to, but it's always at your own risk. Alright, so I'm going to put that right there. I'm waiting to draw into a spell card to go into my Yubel. I'll show you guys that when I join into it, but, um, yeah, we have all three copies of Yubel, as in Yubel, Incarnate, and Nightmare, and being that we have Nightmare, this deck is basically, I'm not gonna say it's unstoppable, but you definitely won't be losing a lot, that's all I'm gonna say. Go ahead and do this. I'm gonna banish his Archfiend, gonna banish my card, put Yubel face down, if we are gonna get an Archfiend deck, as in, like, Archfiend Emperor, Definitely gonna go ahead and throw out Incarnate because I'll be able to just snowball my opponent from there. He won't be able to keep a monster on field. I'm gonna banish that, banish that, put this face down. And I should be good. I should be good. But yeah, um, let me go ahead and explain this. I'm gonna try to explain while I'm doing the video. That way I can just show you guys the deck and it's not that long of me explaining the deck itself. But the reason you want to run Tribute Burial and the reason I put it face down, Tribute Burial is a very easy summoning method, being that if you have Squirmer face down and your opponent attacks into it, you blow up his card while your girl goes to the graveyard. You need to banish a monster from both players' graveyards to summon a Tribute Monster. That's how I get Yubel on field. I put her face down because unless I have no back row and Lotus in the graveyard, you don't want to have this card face up because she will end up blowing herself up eventually because you're going to run out of monsters. So that's the entire reason I have both of them face down right now. I don't know if my opponent knows exactly why I just put face down, but if he does, he knows not to attack into it or blow it up. So I have a pretty good chance of winning. Now, you may be wondering how usually you want to deck out with this deck, as in deck your opponent out. You have one card in here. I'm probably not going to be able to draw into it during this duel. Because my opponent might end up realizing that he can't win. But the card that you're going to have to use is Localized Tornado. Now, it has a cost. You only need to use it if you have a specific card on field. If you have Incarnate on field, use it. If you have... What's that card? Nightmare on field, use it. Why? Because if you have any of them on the field, you don't have to worry about Lotus getting sent back to the deck... And your normal Yubel blowing up. So, that's just like the word to the wise right there. Okay, this is going to just take a long time. Look, if you guys are in for a long duel, long commentary, I guess this will be it. Good thing is, I can kind of slow down with my um, commentating, being that the duel is pretty slow. So, it's not going like a million miles per hour and you don't know what's going on. I think you guys have a general idea what's going on. I have Lotus face down. I have Widespread Ruin face down, just in case. We got it good. Nice. We got Localized Tornado. And honestly, if we shuffle our deck again, like if we shuffle all our cards in our hand and Grievear back to the deck, we're going to have more cards than him, but we don't want to do that yet. Like I said, if you can get Incarnate on field or Nightmare, then use Localized Tornado. I'm talking about like set it down only on the turn Incarnate comes to the field. Because when you're when you end your turn and it's your opponent's turn, if they try to blow up the card, first thing you do, flip it and send everything back to your deck. Simple as that. Simple, simple, simple. <clears> hmm, <throat> okay, so... 
Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I should be good. I should, should be good. All right. So I don't know if he's going to summon another monster or he's just going to keep that face down. Because I'm not attacking the two. This entire deck is made to not really attack your opponent. Oh man, it's so boring. I had like so many good matches. I had a match against um, I had a match against Blue Eyes earlier today. I had a match against for higher, and I drew into like the worst hand possible. I literally had one Lotus, and everything else was either a recurring nightmare or a U Bell. So I couldn't do anything. I didn't even summon to my tribute. I didn't even get my tribute burial. I couldn't summon to any of my other monsters. All I had was Lotus, and yeah, he basically just snowballed me. So you do have the chance of breaking with this deck, it's just not too often. Oh, okay, now, what core are you going to target? That's the question. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we might actually have a tough one here. Attack the middle one. Just attack the middle one. It's going to make it easier. Yes! Lotus is in the graveyard. After I do this. I'm going to do that. And what he should do, he should activate his trap card and bring the card back to the field. Or not. Okay. You must not have it. So my field's cleared. I'm going to go ahead and put Squirmer. Because if he does go into Archfiend, um... What is that card called? Um... Crap. Um, call it an Archfiend. I want to blow it up with my Squirmer. Because Squirmer can target back row. So that's the really good thing. Also, um... Another way to get Incarnate on field really fast. If you can possibly do it. If your opponent has a monster in attack position and you have enough of life points to survive an attack, flip Squirmer, attack your opponent, and blow up your own U Bell, and you can summon Night Um, you can summon Incarnate or Nightmare, whichever one. So that's something for you guys to remember. Okay, I'm gonna have to throw maybe a U Bell into the graveyard. All right, and you know I'm just gonna throw it. Oh, actually, while we're on another topic, guys, do not, and I repeat, never, 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 never use one of the draw power skills right now. I don't know why, but in the case that I would have the ability to use a draw skill card, or a draw card skill, like a draw sense spell trap or something like that, I don't know why, but the game will freeze and it will disconnect you. It's a guaranteed loss. There's no way of coming back from it. It just happens. I don't know what's going on for it to happen, but right now, just don't do it. I wouldn't trust using any of the draw power skills right now. It's just bad, bad, bad news bears right now. Alright, so... So... This is where stuff starts to get... Interesting. We have this... We, have, we don't have the same amount of cards. But I definitely will have more cards to him if I were to shuffle anything back into the deck right now. So I think that's what we're going to do. Mainly because since I have Squirmer, I can blow up my Uvel anyway. And if he ends up blowing up Incarnate, I'll just summon Nightmare. Oh man, you had to send your Ritual card. How does it feel to have to do that? So we're going to put this face down. If he blows it up, we just lose. That's the only problem I haven't ran into yet. I've never seen anyone end up blowing up my localized tornado or stopping me from using it. So, um, if he does, this is going to be the first guy I ever fought who actually blows it up. Oh, man, you know, honestly, I feel bad for doing this a little bit. But at this point, I think you might realize that you don't have the easiest time winning. Unless you can stop me. If you can stop me, hey... You do you? Oh, he can't. Okay. Alright, so we're back up to 15 cards. He's down to 7, and now we have the advantage. As in, all we gotta do is build up our hand. That's really it. We build up our hand. We have Lotus. We have Ubel. We have Squirmer. <laughs> our opponent cannot stop us. He cannot stop us right now. And if he somehow fill wipes, Ubel's effect activates, and we summon Incarnate. If he fill wipes, you Incarnate. Or, I said you Cornet. <laughs> if he feel wipes in Cornet, we summon Nightmare. So we have a pretty good chance of winning. Really, really good chance. 
Plus, we still have recurring Nightmare in the deck, so if we need to draw into our um, Squirmer, if we have a few in the graveyard, we can add Squirmer or any other card back into our hand with zero defense. So, let's see what my opponent does. Because he does not have the main cards left. He's still in his turn. He's really trying... You really think you're going to win, don't you? Man. This guy is a trooper. Honestly, usually once he hit about the 30th turn, people are just like, you know what? Honestly, even if I can win, it's not worth winning because it took like 30 minutes of my time. So they're literally going to surrender. But yeah, this is the Ubel deck. Sorry if it's a very long video. Sorry if you guys are annoyed by how long it's taking to do this. And look, I knew he was going to call the Archfiend. I'm just hoping he doesn't blow up my Squirmer. If he blows up my Squirmer, we have a problem. If he blows up my Ubel, we don't really have a problem, but it just makes it easier. Oh, he's going to summon Ubel. Is he going to incarnate? Is he going to incarnate by blowing up his own monsters? You know, honestly, I never thought of using Call of the Archfiend in this deck. Oh man, I've never thought of using Call of the Archfiend in this deck. I might actually have to do that one day. But I like the deck where it is right now. It's definitely going to be a different deck. Why do you have to attack my Ubel? Why? What's the reason? Alright, well, my Ubel is now face up. I'm okay with this. Oh man, you had to go ahead and get rid of your Snipe Hunter. Can't feel good, man. Can't feel good. In my turn. It should ask me if I want to blow up something. I'm going to blow up Lotus and bring her back. Every in turn. Okay, so what you do, you tribute Lotus. And when it asks you to activate the effect, don't do it. Once it's tributed, let it be. Because it's just going to go back onto the field during the next in phase. This is how you keep your number you build up. Or you could do the idea of, you know, just summoning monsters and letting them... Gets into a graveyard. Not the best idea though, because then you're just losing court economy at that point. Alright. So now it's down to his last four courts. I'm up to 12. I don't understand how this guy still thinks he can win. I'm not going to attack him. I'm playing completely defensively. My squirmer's okay. That's the good part. If anything, I'm not even going to summon into a cornet if I don't have to. Because if I summon to Incarnate and blow up his monsters, then he summons into Incarnate. I get blown up. And even though I get Nightmare on field, at that point, it's just bad. Oh, I could use it. I'm not going to do it, though. Alright, so... Yeah, zero attack, zero defense, just nothing but stall. I'm going to activate Lotus's effect, bring her out of Graveyard. Honestly, hey guys, so, um... Those who have watched up to this four, and I feel like it's not going to be a lot, because I don't think a lot of people like these, like, 30-turn duels. But, um, if I were to start live-streaming, would you guys be there to watch it? Because that's, that's one thing I'm wondering, because I've been thinking about live-streaming for a while. I don't know if I should do it or not, and honestly, I don't know the first thing about live-streaming, so this would be something new to me. But, yeah, um, just wondering that, guys, just wondering that. Definitely tell me if you guys like it or not. Be right back. Alright, surprisingly, first time I ever had to take a break during a video. Okay, so we're back. We got everything set up. Nothing has transpired that I wouldn't agree with. So, let's go ahead and finish this up. I'm going to end my turn. Lotus should come back onto the field. I mean, jeez. This is the longest duel I've ever done. And this guy is just really hell-bent on not surrendering. He's at the disadvantage in court economy. 
but he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna sit through it. He sent all his cards to graveyard. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I was looking. I saw Terror Archfiend. I mean, um, Terror Incarnate. Terror Archfiend. Terror King Archfiend. I forgot that was a card. But I saw Incarnate for a moment, and I was like, okay, he's gonna summon it back. But he can't because I don't know if you know this, but this card cannot be summoned unless it's by Ubel's effect. So um, yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Really glad that exists. Alright. So, he can't do anything else. And being that it blew up from its own effect, he can't exactly summon into Incarnate. Which is good. Okay, so I could put another Lotus, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep my hand filled up in my turn. And look, if you don't believe this deck will work against like something like For Hire, it'll work against For Hire. Mainly because once you summon Incarnate, they'll never be able to really get another, you know, Marksman or whatever on the field. And if they do blow it up, all you gotta do is Recurring Nightmare and summon your Ubel again. Easy, right? Very easy, actually. So, I'm gonna go ahead and tribute that. Not gonna activate the effect. He has two cards left. Now he's gonna have one because he has to draw. I don't understand why this guy is taking so long to just surrender. It's been 37 turns. At this point, if I would have hit like maybe around 20, 23 turns, I would have just given up. It's like there is no possible way I can win this. But this guy is a trooper, and you know what? I condone this guy. This guy right here, he actually stuck through. Hopefully you guys stuck through. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting. If he blows up my U-Bell, I'm going to be able to go into Incarnate. Is he going to do it? Is this guy going to blow up your bell? I feel like he is. Okay, is he really... He's really trying to decide. If he blows up Squirmer, Squirmer's effect doesn't activate. If he blows up your bell, I blow up his monster. So he's not really in a good situation right now. Alright, so what are you going to do here? He blew up his own card. Man, tough luck, tough luck, tough luck. This guy is not having it today. Okay, so is he going to end this turn? or? Okay, guys, predict this. Is he going to deck out Surrender, or is he going to Connection Loss? I actually want to um, I want to know your thoughts on this one. You don't have to leave a comment below. That That's entirely BS, by the way. Um, when people are like, oh, man, leave a comment for um this, or leave a like if for um one prayer equals one like or whatever. That's them trying to promote their um little video. Uh, just a smart um, just something that you guys should know. I feel like a lot of you guys know that, but also I feel like there may not be that many people that know. Ooh, and I can do it. I'm just gonna be that guy. I'm just gonna be that guy. Actually, actually, I could. I could, but I won't. So I'm gonna blow up my own card. Boom, just to get my Incarnate on field, I actually want to at least get Incarnate on field. Nightmare, I'm okay with not getting on field. It takes a lot to go through and get Nightmare. But you know what? Now I don't have to worry about bringing out Lotus again. I can just start setting face downs. But it's already over. The duel's already over. This guy literally lost unless he has a localized Tornado. And he can somehow shuffle his cards back into his deck. I have flat out won this match. Okay, okay. Move all that, move all that. I cannot wait till I get all my stuff set up for PC so I can just start playing this on PC. I have my account and everything set up. It's just I don't have a lot of recording stuff that I can um, reliably use. Oh, he's going to limit reverse and summon his Ubel. Is he going to blow up his own Ubel? Oh, man. Oh, man. The thing is, if he blows up his Ubel... Oh, okay. You see? That... That was a smart move. That right there was a smart move, but it's already over. Sorry, man. It's already ogre now, okay? There is no way you can save yourself. It's over with. And if he goes in a nightmare, I'll just set a face down. From there, he can't stop me. Actually, I should probably, um... Huh... So he's going to blow up my card. 
He's gonna econ my monster. And that's why you put face downs. That's exactly why you use face downs with this deck. Is he gonna tribute my own monster? That'd be that that would suck if he tributes my own monster. And if he blows up my monster. Okay, if this guy blows up my monster though. Huh. What's he gonna what's he trying to do? Okay, but is he gonna blow up what okay, what does this do? Target one card on field, blow it up. So he can only target one card. I don't know what he's gonna target. Oh, he sent his nightmare to a graveyard. Oh man, that that sucks. I guess it's like a last resort. He's like, okay, I gotta do it now. Necrofear? This guy's running Necrofear. Oh man, okay. So I can possibly survive this. Oh man, I got so lucky. Let's go ahead and do that. 2400 from every monster. Oh man, Wall of Destruction. It's like the best card in this entire game. Oh man. So, GG, we won that. I don't know how long this duel took. Man, it's gonna be... Man, just man. That was 41 turns. It took 41 turns to win against this guy with a deck out. Jeez. Okay, so... If you guys somehow survived through this entire video... Thank you guys so much for watching, because, jeez. It may have been exciting for me. I don't know if it was exciting for you, but, man, I've never went that long in a duel before. And I'm still at rank 1. I'm just having fun using a whole bunch of different decks. I tried to use a rock stone with um, Kawaki Miro, and they didn't really do too well, because I'm missing, like, one card. But, um, let's go ahead and talk about this deck. I'm going to showcase it. I'm going to show you guys what it does, and we're going to be just... Yeah, I think one duel is enough for today's video. I can't put in another duel. There, it's just going to be too long of a video to do that. Okay, so this is the entire deck. All the monsters, all the spells, all the traps, right here. So, you have three U-Bells, one Incarnate, one Nightmare, because you can only get one copy of each of those. One Sangan, because I wish I had two. If I did, I don't know what I would take out from the deck, but one works perfectly. Three Squirmers, two Lotus. Your spell cards include Recurring Nightmare, which, like this, you can go ahead and summon, select two Dark Monsters with zero defense and return them to your hand, including you bells any of them. Going to the next card, we got Tribute Burial, which you can banish your opponent monster and your monster to Tribute Summon a monster. Like I said, Tribute Summon you bell face down if you already have a face down and you can't get it off field. You have Darkness Approaches, to get you bell into the graveyard or some of your other cards to the graveyard just in case you don't have cards in the graveyard yet to use tribute burial or just to send your you bell and then use limit reverse because that's the only card we haven't used at all in today's video actually we haven't used um recurring nightmare either but um yeah also just make any back where you want really but make sure make sure you have one copy of localized tornado because this is what makes your opponent just kind of give up on the duel itself you have if you if your opponent cannot out your cards the duel is set in stone once you use that card. Localized Tornado is what makes this deck an amazing stall deck. Okay, I'll see you guys next time with another video. Um, most likely, it's going to be um, 5Ds because they're coming out on the 25th. So, definitely, probably going to be doing Yusei Fudo first. I mean, who isn't going to be doing Yusei Fudo first? Just saying. After that, I might move over to Crow, and I'm really excited for Black Rose Dragon because just because it's in the game. When I played like the old play um PSP games and stuff like that, geez, Black Rose Dragon was literally my favorite card. Apart from like Leo, but that was like later on, but Black Rose Dragon was the one that stayed there in my heart. My favorite card. So in the Synchro era, expect a lot of videos on that. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and um like the video. Make sure to share the video around because I feel like this was a pretty amazing video in on itself. And I want you guys to share this deck around. I want to see this deck being used. It can be beaten, so don't think it's like just overly overpowered or something like that. But just go ahead and share it around. And also hit the notification bell if you are somewhat new here. And or if you're an old subscriber. That way you know whenever I put another video up like this. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed. It's been Chronic, and I am out.